Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. The Duke of Sussex, Prince of Wales, His Royal Highness. These are some of the titles you'll hear time and time again when catching up with British royal news. But what are the rules on receiving them? And are they worth anything these days? At the top of British royalty, you have the monarch, a king or a queen, addressed as his or her majesty. They're responsible for giving most titles, and a female spouse is called queen consort, whilst titles for husbands vary. Prince Philip, for example, was known as the Duke of Edinburgh, whilst Prince Albert, Queen Victoria's husband, used the title of prince consort. Then come their children. The monarch's first child and their spouse are automatically made Duke and Duchess of Cornwall, and traditionally gifted Prince and Princess of Wales too. All children and grandchildren of the monarch are born prince or princess, and great-grandchildren are too if they are direct heirs to the throne, like Prince George. Exceptions were made for his siblings, Charlotte and Louis, to have equal titles. It's worth noting that the children of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who didn't have titles under Queen Elizabeth II, will do once their grandfather, Charles, becomes king. All these senior royals can also use the style His or Her Royal Highness. Having an HRH means that you're expected to perform public duties, such as representing the monarch. Not all royals with HRH do this, but the large majority do, and with that usually comes a slice of the monarch's public funding and security detail. You might also be asked to stop using your title if you opt out of public duties. Prince Andrew, Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex are recent examples of this. The title can also be stripped away, as was seen with Prince William's and Prince Harry's mother Diana and Edward VIII in 1936. Wives of princes also take a courtesy princess title, so Meghan Markle is also Princess Henry of Wales, as she's married to Prince Harry. She's not Princess Meghan, as she wasn't born into the royal family. Nevertheless, this is a title that's barely used, so she usually goes by the title gifted to her by the Queen, the Duchess of Sussex. Because to complicate royal titles further, there's also a peerage system to title the British nobility. It has its roots in medieval times, and it was created to make sure the monarch had a stable group of nobles to help run the kingdom. These are your dukes, marquises, earls, viscounts and barons. They can be gifted to royal and non-royal subjects. The titles can also add up, so a duke can also be an earl, a prince can also be a duke, an earl and a baron, and any other titles bestowed on them. The wives of these peers also receive titles too. That's why Kate Middleton became known as the Duchess of Cambridge after marrying Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge. Male spouses don't usually receive a courtesy title. My Lord's pray be seated. And although titles are predominantly seen as ceremonial, having a hereditary one, such as Duke or Baron, can give you a chance to take a seat in the House of Lords, one of two houses of the British Parliament, and to vote on laws. Currently, hereditary peers stand for an internal election at the Lords before taking one of the 92 places available. Royals are expected to be politically independent, so they would never be allowed to take such a seat in practice. And what about the British figures who receive knighthoods? Well, this is when the monarch rewards exceptional achievement on the advice of the government. Knighted men will be referred to as sirs and women as dames. Then you have all other awards bestowed by the monarch. These are non-hereditary and are not part of the peerage system. The ultimate honour is to be appointed to the Order of the Garter, which is the highest order of chivalry in the land and with its own unique uniform. Currently, the order includes several members of the royal family and 24 knights. All in all, the title system in the United Kingdom is intricate and rooted in centuries of tradition. 
There are those who claim the monarch should be stripped of a power that they believe is less about rewarding public work and more about perpetuating the British class system. Regardless, it looks like the title system will be part of British society for decades to come. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.